Welcome to my fourth YouTube tutorial. Today I'm going to make a skull charm like bracelet. So we're using the same tool set, our chain nose, our needle nose pliers, you know, our round nose pliers, flat pliers, and a pair of snips. We're going to need a length of chain and I just measured this to go around my wrist. And I wanted an odd number because I'm going to be using an odd number of beads. So I chose 45 lengths. <clears throat> and you can either snip this chain or you can um, treat it like a jump ring, which we will see in just a moment. You will need some head pins. You'll need some assorted beads. I've got skull beads and this other assorted hearts, stars, and daisies. You'll need jump rings, and I'm using 15 skull beads, plus I'm going to make seven charms out of these beads, plus for the seven that are going to be paired, I'm going to be using an extra jump ring. So that's 14 plus 15, that's 29 um, jump rings. 30, 31 because I need one for my class. I'm using a lobster class and the other end. I've already put my jump rings on my class. So all we need to do to make the skull charms is take our jump ring, pull it apart, put the skull on, we have a skull charm. And I'm going to do that with 15 skulls. Just assorted skulls, just put them on. I'm doing that towards or away from myself on the jump ring. And you can use two sets of pliers to do that motion too. I just use my fingers. So I'm going to do 15 skulls, then I'm done with those. And then it's a little more complicated. I'm going to use my head pins for my other. I'm going to make a large daisy for the center. So I'm going to put my daisy on, put it down to the bottom. I'm going to bend that at a right angle to where the pin started. So just like that. And I'm going to use my round nose pliers. And we've done this in a previous tutorial, I think, for a pair of earrings. And we're just going to wrap that around the top, lift up on my round nose pliers, and I'm going to wrap that around the back. Use my flat nose pliers to flatten that out. And I just want that to be flush. Take my snips. Snip the end off. Now you can stop there if you want. And you can go ahead and put a jump ring, which I am going to do with all of them except for my center one. I want to make it a little more extravagant. So I'm going to use that piece that I just snipped off. That was the excess from the half of this bead I just made. I'm going to put my other daisy on, well, first. I'm going to make a loop using my round nose pliers. So I'll just bend that. Make a loop. And I'll just make a loop. And then bend it. So I angle at the bottom of that loop. because I can always adjust it. It just has to be able to hold the bead on at first. And I'm going to make another right angle with a little space so I can adjust the loops if I need to. The top of that bead, make a right angle. Use my round nose pliers again. Go around that. I'm going to use that end of Players to kind of pull that in. Make that look a little better. Look a little better on this end. Getting around those players. 
pliers back in there. I'm just gonna curl that into itself. And I'm gonna make that bend that I like to have in there. And you can use both your flat nose and your chain nose pliers to fix this to where they're evenly lined up and everything's flush. Got a link. There's a one link, and I'm gonna add that to my other link. And I am gonna use a jump ring to do that so that it moves more. So I'm gonna pull the jump ring towards and away from myself, and you can do that with a pair of pliers. And then I'm just gonna add both ends of this charm to the jump ring. So I made my center, and then I'm gonna make the like I made the bottom part of this one so like I made the silver one I'm gonna use my hearts and stars and daisies and I'm gonna make a total of seven including the center so six more of just the single ones and then I'm gonna add each of those to a jump ring as well So I put all of my charms on jump rings and I have paired up um, the center charm, the largest skull with the large two daisy duo that I made for the center charm. And then I've got every other one having an extra charm. So I did my stars and my small skull and crossbones. My really small skulls by themselves, not on an extra jump ring. See, these each have their own jump ring and they have an extra jump ring on all the bigger ones. And all the smaller ones are just on their own. And I did pair up next to my hearts and my smaller skull and crossbones. And then I didn't put an extra jump ring and then a larger skull and my star on an extra jump ring, another small set here. And I also tried to make it symmetrical as far as uh, the type of bead and the color of the bead. And then I've got my chain links up here counted out as 45, so that means that my center one is gonna go on the 23rd link. First, I am going to put my clasp on each end. So you just do that by opening your jump ring both towards and away from yourself and you slide that end onto that open jump ring and then you close it by your wing the opposite of what you did and we're going to do the same thing on the other end And then we're gonna count in 23 links. And we're gonna put on our center piece on the 23rd link, so. Once you find your center link, you can test it by holding each end of the chain from it and the final end links should line up jump rings for your class. So I am going to open this jump ring now that I've found this link. until I've put on all of my charms that I have laid out. Just a reminder, I cut my chain to the length of my wrist. I attached each end of my clasp with a jump ring. I then made 
seven of these star heart and daisy star heart and daisy charms a double one in the middle i made 15 of the skull charms i put my largest skull with my double daisy I made everything symmetrical on both ends, like the skull type. I tried to space out my color. And every other one, the three in the middle, I doubled up onto an extra jump ring. And then the smaller ones, I just kept on one jump ring. And then I did every. I did the 23rd link for the center and then I skipped you and I did every third one for the charm until I got to my end and I should have one link on each end without a charm that's attached to my jump ring from my class. And I will show you how this looks on your wrist. Here's our final project on the wrist and as you can see the middle is the most extravagant. And we have our clasp in the back and it dangles very nicely. So thank you for tuning in and I hope that you tune in again next time for more jewelry tutorials.